Hello, Katya here and welcome to this tutorial. I have a old chocolate box uh, and it's already painted with white gesso. And here I have the gorgeous uh, cheesy paper from Finnabare Romantica. And I will add some uh, interest to my box uh, by adding a first layer of uh, tissue paper. The chocolate box uh, was a red box from the beginning uh, and that's why I have added white. I was thinking to do other project but I changed my mind so this is, comes from my stash. I use soft gloss gel to add the tissue paper and I'm a little bit careful when I'm adding it because in some places I don't want to have too many wrinkles. Uh, so I add by piece by piece and I have uh, shoe some parts uh, because I want the darkest color on the edges. Uh, it's not so randomly. Um, it will be a gift box for Valentine's Day, I'm thinking, but uh, you can do it with any box or anything you like to do the same technique. Uh, this uh, papers, tissue papers, they are so easy to use um, and to add to make like a background pattern and uh, this Romantica it's perfect for vintage projects I think. And you see me here doing a little bit on the edges and uh, like that and uh, I'm even on the surface I add the soft gloss yellow. And uh, I will also cover uh, the upper side so I add the soft gloss gel on the surface and then also over. And then it's very easy to tear it off because the, the gel uh, or water or something, it makes it easy to pull off uh, without using any scissors. Here I have the impasto paints, dark chocolate. And I'm painting inside the box, also doing a little bit on the edges. Uh, and I choose the impasto paints because it's a, re a really thick paint and it makes a good cover to not show the white. When it's dry, uh, I want to add some uh, texture to the surface. And I'm using the modeling paste and the stencil Gothic. It's a gorgeous stencil with the Gothic uh, uh, text. And I'm mixing here by first using the modeling paste and then the icing paste. And that's to make a little bit more interesting surface. I don't blend them totally. Uh, I add first the modeling paste and then on the edges I add the icing paste. And this is to make a little bit more interest on the background. And be sure to clean your stencil. Uh, I use a baby wipe and sometimes pastes and uh, color they dry really, really quick. And if you have uh, are in a room where you have water, uh, it's always better. But I clean my stencils with uh, with the baby wipe. Okay, here I have some embellishments. I have made them with the mold. Fina Bear Mole Mechanica and uh, here I add a thin coat of uh, clear gesso uh, 
I could also use uh, the white gesso or black gesso, but here I want it to be like a thin, thin coat, and the clear gesso, uh, gesso is the, the most thinnest, uh, give the most thinnest coat. And you also see me use an uh, old pair of scissors. Okay, time to add uh, the decorations. I have like a metallic, um, I don't know the name, net. Uh, and that's my first layer. I could use uh, anything I like in the background. And here I have the flea market scissors. Uh, and I use a heavy body gel because I want to sh be sure that the embellishments will stay. And uh, now I add my will add my embellishment and I have this watch um, already rusted like uh, for my focal point. And I try to make a composition also to give the the clock something to stay on so it will stay flat. So the background gears is to give my decoration some stability. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm a little bit have a little bit uh, throat problem right now. Uh, and I also have these gorgeous stars and uh, I try to do a composition. Uh, I want to still keep some areas free of the background. So I'm adding uh, the embellishment made from Mechanica and Moon and Star modes. Here inside the alarm uh, clock, I had some um, paste and uh, I'm adding a lot here inside of the heavy, heavy body gel. And I have some um, pearls from Prima and I try to choose the darkest one. Uh, on the other small jar, I have some, not rhinestones, like gems, it's a shape of heart. But when you put it here, it doesn't show. But if you take a close look, they are brown and they have the shape of uh, hearts. So I take my uh, brush and take off the uh, big blobs of uh, Uh, of the heavy body gel and I sprinkle some glitter here and there inside uh, the embellishment here and a little bit around, not too much, only a little, little bit. Okay, it's time for color. And on the winter projects, what can I use? Oh yes, I would use the liquid acrylic paint. I have the burnt sienna and the black uh, paint. And I start with the burnt sienna, spraying some water and using my brush. So I have some control where the color comes. So I can choose how intense I want it to be. And if you don't like it to be so intense, only add more water. And you can only press your baby wipe on the places uh, where you think is too much water. And this gives uh, the liquid acrylic paint, gives uh, uh, like a little bit glossy surface. And you see me, I have the ink black only, only on some places uh, under some embellishment to give like uh, extra shade. And before next step, I'm using my heating gun to get it dry. Here I have Finna Bear's new waxes. I have three colors here on my table and I start with the rusty brown 
and I use uh, the big brush, a stiff brush, and I will like dabbing this wax on my embellishment. It comes also a little bit on the background and that's not a problem. And here I'm thinking to mix the glossy surface against the matte surface. I think that gives interest. And now I take the baby wipe and I brush on the top where I want it to be a little bit more light. Uh, it takes about 10 minutes. Depends about the weather where you live, of course, to get the waxes dry. Uh, but you can use a baby wipe if you want to have a more uh, like whitish surface. But here I only to I don't want to give it a white surface. I want it to be like a grungy matte surface. And you see me using the red and I'm wiping it off and it gives the my embellishment a r amazing look and it's so difficult to see here on the video but it's looking really great and I'm using my finger for the chakra black uh, I only want it on the top and you see me I do it on the edges it's all it gives like also almost like a burnt surface and I'm really really loving the, the outcome of it so I adding it on the edges with my fingers and it's like framing it and uh, here it's the matte against the shiny one and Carefully, carefully with the rich copper wax, the metallic one. I do carefully on the top to give it like extra shine. And that's what I think about the waxes, that to mix them, to use them on different layers, give them a special interest. And I hope you enjoy my video. And if you do... Uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up and leave a comment. I try to read all the comments to give a thumb up and uh, uh, also hearting it. And so if you like the channel, please click the bell button so you will have a notification when it come a new video. Here I have some a metallic embellishment and all my metallic embellishments are coming from Finaber. Expect from the old scissors that are from a flea market. I really love to attend flea markets. You never know what to find and to find uh, things for a duro or something like that uh, for some projects. I think that's just amazing. Yes, on the top there is a butterfly. And this box will be a perfect gift to a friend. Uh, uh, it will be some goodies in it. Uh, and if you watch to the end, you can see my finished uh, goodies. It will be goodies and it will be something uh, secret uh, gift also in it. And of course, there will be some text that says love. What could else be when you give a gift that is heart-shaped? So, you see me working with black, uh, with the shiny and uh, matte surfaces and that's a poor, pure joy and I hope you enjoyed the video so please please let me know what you think and uh, I will hope to see you soon again and hope you get inspired to do something this was a gift box you can use the same technique on any projects that you like and uh, I'm so happy that I'm able to share this with you and uh, hope that you will have a nice day 
and let me know what you think. So happy crafting and bye bye and see you in the next tutorial.